Hey guys, hopefully you don't mind I'm standing for today's video. I'm just trying to stand more and get some work done just because this past year I've been working from home and I really don't know how people have worked from home for years. I really feel it's a recipe for disease. Some days I look at my Apple Watch if I didn't go for a walk in the morning and the whole day I've walked like 600 steps. That's insane to me. I used to think we sat a lot in dentistry and it's hard on your body, which it is, but at least you're getting up in between patients like every 30 to 60 minutes, cleaning the room, running up and down stairs, whatnot, going out to get the patients. Obviously like every job is different. Some you can probably get up and like cook and clean and do a little bit of stuff in between your work, but I've essentially had a job the last little while. Like I cannot take my eyes off the computer, so it's been hard so I'm standing today that's a very long-winded introduction so I just wanted to show you guys a video of a few Anina Bing products that I got some recently I did buy pretty much all of this on sale um, I had never tried any of her clothing before so I have three items to show you so I did talk about these in another video um, I would say just for reference I'm 5'9 I usually would take a size medium and something fitted so in all of her clothing, I should be a size medium. So I would say her clothing fits true to size. The first thing, this was the first thing I ever ordered. These are the Blake leggings and they say Anina Bing Sport on the back. I did get these in a size large because I was anticipating her brand to fit small, but they're definitely too big around the waist. I loved how they fit in the leg though and I thought they might be okay but when I start walking they fall down a bit so I am regretting not getting the size medium but I will say these are probably one of my favorite leggings ever they're that type of material that will never pill which is great and they just look a lot more high-end than your typical legging when you put it on they have um, just a little small logo uh, logo sorry of her initials right there and yeah i'll try these on for you but yeah they're just a nice legging they have um a nice sports bra that went along with it but definitely if you're looking for a legging that does not pill just a great kind of higher end black legging i would really recommend these but just stick to your true size if you're in between sizes i almost feel you can size down so these are the first things the blake legging and they're not probably gonna look too big, but they definitely are around my waist. Like they're very stretchy, but I like how they fit in the leg. But again, I think actually, like if I do wear these out or anything, I think I will reorder them in a size medium. I really, really do love them. So next up, I will show you, this is called the Rory jacket. And I actually might be selling this just because I recently got a cause jacket that is fluffy and it's white. So I might not need this. Um, Anyway, I did the, get this on a bit of a sale though, and it's just like a nice Sherpa jacket. And this is a size medium. And again, it has her logo on the back collar, so that's nice if you have your hair pulled up. And yeah, I just really like it. It's kind of like that oversized, like trucker Sherpa jacket. I would say, actually though, I almost feel like I think I would like this better on me if it was more oversized. Like the medium is definitely my true size, but I think I actually would prefer maybe how the large looks on me because I was kind of envisioning this even to be more oversized than what it is, but it is really, really nice and soft and has the satin button closure, has a really nice satin lining. I will say the only thing is, and it might be because of how the fuzz is here the buttons are a little bit hard to stay done up just because it's maybe once this smushes down a little bit it will be okay but just keep that in mind but a lot of times when I'm wearing something like this I just kind of leave it open anyway and I just kind of wanted like a shorter white fluffy coat um, and yeah I do really like it it's just like I almost feel like the cause one a little bit more that's the only thing and last but not least I really like this piece this is called the Amelia jacket this is also a size medium and it is that nice olive green and it's like a quilted quilted almost like a satin like little puffer jacket it is insulated has two nice pockets it looks nice done up or left open and yeah, it has a nice lining. It does not, I'm just looking, it does not say her logo any 
wear and again medium fits me true to size but again I think I would also like the size large in this as well but I will try them all on for you so here's the Amelia jacket and it does look a little bit shinier just because I have a light shining on me from my camera but um, yeah so this is the medium I'll just uh, turn it down a little bit here um, yeah so definitely medium is my true size but I definitely wouldn't have minded the large either. I think the large was sold out, you know what I mean? But it's just a nice, I don't really have a jacket like this and I really like green, the pockets are nice. Um, yeah, the shoulder is a little bit structured. It's really, really nice, soft and silky. And um, I've said before, I really like the color green just because I have green eyes. So I think it just makes them pop a little bit medium does fit perfect it buttons fine it's not pulling at all there's still lots of room because it's kind of like a boxy fit and i have a pretty large chest so um yeah i would say this definitely fits true to size as well and yeah it looks really nice with all black i find it's not super long though like it's a little bit cropped and there it is from the back so you can see how long it is where it hits and again i am five nine so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that helped if you are interested in any of those products or her brand. Because I know, um, like at least here in Canada, I don't really think I have seen much of it in store anywhere. So you do have to pretty much order it online. There are a couple small places in Toronto that carry it. But yeah, just in general, I think it fits very true to size. But definitely wait for it to go on sale. Um, with the exception of a couple pieces, I don't really think it's worth paying full price. So I just usually always wait till everything goes on sale.